How's it going, everybody? Jared here, back again uh, with a ROM review for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 International version. Uh, the name of the ROM is Codec ROM version 7.9. Uh, it's been a little while since I've seen any updates, a little bit disappointed in that. Uh, however, the ROM has been quite stable for the most part, with the exception of little things here and there, some screen re-renders, um, stuff like that. But Overall, a uh, really fantastic ROM. This is an Aroma-based install as well, so there's all kinds of different modifications and feature selections that you can choose from during the installation process itself. Uh, really cool stuff. It comes, actually, the Aroma installer itself comes with a ton of um, different kernels, different radios for you to flash, and other mods and hacks. Uh, so that's always really, really fun to see. Love installing ROMs like this because you get so much stuff to choose from. Um, as you can see here, this is actually a quite heavily themed uh, stock ice cream sandwich Samsung ROM. And um, in my opinion, and maybe I read this in the thread itself, uh, but it's actually like kind of a, a really nice balanced mix between uh, AOSP, Android, and the Samsung ROM. Um, TouchWiz has apparently been removed, so that's fantastic. There are several different um, launchers for you to choose from, Jelly Bean, Apex, Nova Launcher. So you can see here I'm running Nova Launcher at the moment. And uh, what else? So pull down the notification trays. You can see we got some semi-transparent backgrounds. You got your slider bar. And we've got our cool themed um, power toggles. And uh, you can add and remove and rearrange the order of them as well, which is, of course, really, really nice. Of course, long pressing on uh, said or whatever uh, toggle you want there will take you into the settings menu, which is always great to see. And uh, we'll go jump into the applications, and it actually comes with a bunch of stuff. So you've got Audio Manager. Uh, this is kind of an interesting thing. I, I'm a bit confused by this particular application that they decided to include in this ROM. As you can see here, press on the logo above to launch the actual Hide It Pro app. Um, I don't know if Audio Manager is supposed to, like, I, I just don't know. I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, a fake or, uh, you know, like, a Hide It type application. But anyway, so just go ahead, and if you click Hide It, you know, or click on the logo nothing really happens so i'm not really sure um but apparently you can control your volume and stuff like that in here which was whatever anyways uh moving on from there we've got some other cool applications in here of course you've got crop wallpaper which they've included so you can uh, uh crop your wallpapers nice little app there uh you've got clockwork mod manager okay so jump into there and as you can see bam oh my god go away uh, anyways so that's cool too and um, download all files that comes with it as well so you can download different um, different types of uh, files and directly into one folder um, more than you're normally uh, uh, supposed to or allowed to in the stock form uh, you've also got DSP manager now they say this comes with awesome beats or something like that I don't know whatever it's DSP manager no matter how they label it it's DSP manager so that's nice to see uh, they've also included fast dormancy toggle so uh, if your um, network carrier does not support fast dormancy you might want to remember to um, disable it and if it does you want to enable it uh, moving on from there of course we got the uh, FM radio um, by the way, the, uh, there's, uh, some applications in here are also themed, like dark themed. So, um, like the AOSP, uh, email application apparently is themed, things like that. Uh, you've also got GVM. And, uh, so this is the Galaxy S3 volume modifier. Um, this, you want to be a little bit careful. You just go ahead and read this description here. And, uh, basically you can really control, um, all aspects of audio, uh, from your device. Um, everything from in calls, ringtones, all kinds of different stuff there. Recommend checking it out, but, um, be careful with it. Cause, uh, once you set it, apparently it doesn't change back or I don't know. Anyways, um, what else have we got here? Do, 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 do. It actually come, came with quite a bit of applications. Ah, yes, we've also got Lightflow uh, Lite, which is installed on this particular ROM. Uh, moving down from there, we also have the uh, uh, Recovery Executable, so if you want to jump in there and flash any scripts or APKs or anything like that uh, without having to jump into and boot into Recovery, um, you can go ahead and do so by using that application. You've got ROM Toolbox Lite as well. And uh, moving on from there, uh, we also have S-Tweaks. S-Tweaks is the application for the SIA kernel. And um, this is all flashable through the aroma, right? So, you know, if you decided to pick uh, the SIA kernel, then this application will be installed for you. And uh, this application has all kinds of tweaks. It does take um, an unsettling <laughs> long amount of time to load that application for some reason. But in here, you can do all kinds of stuff, guys. Uh, you can muck around with the CPU in more ways than you can imagine. 
um, different, um, um, what you might call it, um, governors in here. What's interesting though, what I found was that if we can locate it, you'll notice here that it's only showing as Pegasus Q, Lulz Active Q, and Hot Plug as the governors. However, the ROM itself comes with a ton of other different governors, and I haven't been able to figure out what the hell's going on because C is supposed to have different governors, uh, but it doesn't show them in the actual application here itself, as you can see. And within the ROM, which in, in the performance section, which I'll show you in just a minute, um, it has and it displays a whole ton of other uh, governors, which I, I'm really confused with. Um, so anyways, moving on from there, you can muck around with the GPU if you like. Uh, audio, screen, uh, miscellaneous stuff, some extras. So uh, really nice to see there the uh, enhanced customizability of your kernel. And uh, moving on from there, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, nothing new in there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into the settings menu here. And as you can see here, differently themed settings menu. And we'll go on down to ROM settings. Whoops, okay, phone's out of the shot there. Sorry about that, guys. And as you can see, you've got some different kernel settings. Now, what what I would have liked to see is that if you don't have a particular kernel, insta kernel installed or these particular kernels installed, I would rather not see those there. It doesn't make any sense to see them there if you don't have the kernel installed. If I was to click on one of them, it'll just force close on me. Um, clicking on the see a kernel will just take us back into that S tweaks. Of course, you've got your different launcher settings, and yet again, because we don't have Apex or Jellybean launcher in, uh, included, if I was to click on either of those, um, it will force close on me, so it'd be nice to see those not included in the menu uh, if you don't have those installed. Um, performance, like I mentioned, you got CPUs, tool stats, CPU sleep, recovery executor, secret codes, which I'll show you in just a moment. We'll click on prof performance. performance. Um, we can bump it all the way up to 1800 megahertz. Uh, I tried 17 and 1800. The device became unstable and just started uh, rebooting on me. Of course, you can control the minimum CPU. And this is where we come to governors. You can see here we've got the Lulz Active Q, we've got the Hod Plug, we've got the Pegasus Q. We also have performance, power saver, user space, and on demand, which I would have liked to see in the SIA kernel uh, as to weeks application, but for some reason it's not there. Uh, and of course, you can set all this on boot, some voltage, voltage control, startup tweaks, your free memory, so you can control how much free memory you want to start before things start shutting down on you, or applications start um, getting killed on you, so 25 all the way up to 100 megabytes, nice to see there, and uh, set at boot. Uh, moving down from there, we go to secret codes. So this is all the uh, sort of like factory, Samsung factory secret codes. So if you want to check out your IMEI number without pulling out your battery, uh, it lets you know each one of them. Some of them you can actually, they're interactive. You can click on, it'll do things for you. Some of them you just need to use the um, dial pad and type in the appropriate um, string of code and it'll give you whatever information you want. As you can see here, there is quite a plethora of... Um, codes here for you guys to choose from which is which is really really neat i thought that was kind of cool not that i ever use those or ever will use those but it's nice to know that they're there if you do want them uh quick panel settings so you can hide on change widget button that's what we're talking about with the uh toggles up there csc select i don't know why anybody want to do that uh font installer download all this is the beats audio but as you can see it's dsp manager so if i was to click on beats audio it's just dsp manager i have no idea why the hell they would ever include that it's just going to confuse people um, and it pisses me off at the same time because it's like you're 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 not giving credit to the application where it's due. Uh, instead, they've changed it to call it Beats Audio, which is bullshit. But anyways, of course, you got your fast dormancy toggle and your light flow there as well. Uh, backing out of there, uh, we've got some over-the-air settings as well. This is really cool too. So like I've mentioned in previous ROM videos, um, a lot of developers are starting to include their own over-the-air um, abilities to download the different kernels that are uh, compatible with the ROM, different modifications, modems, different applications, scripts, and of course we can jump into settings here and um, you can choose a download directory, you know, disable installed apps, disable scripts, um, ROM auto checks, you know, things like that, use light theme. I've clicked on that, didn't really notice any difference, so I don't know what the hell that's all about. Uh, flip SD card name in CWM, which is useful for a lot of people down there, or out there. Uh, reboot type, download files, compatible ROM list, and reboot to recovery. All right there, available for you at your fingertips. Pretty cool stuff there. And of course, we've got our standard, um, you know, Samsung um, settings, things like that. And uh, one thing I did want to mention, though, is that even though, um, you know, I've got that one, I've got this, uh, my CPU bumped up to 1600 megahertz max and 200 or 400, I can't remember, uh, minimum. And I also have the on-demand governor, which means when I start using my device and depending on the load, um, it should bump it all the way up to full 1600. Now, what's interesting is if I was to go ahead and click on application manager, 
you see there, it's starting to take a little bit of time. I've noticed lately and recently after probably last four days or so, um, it's starting to really chug along. It's starting to have issues. As you can see now, the information of those particular applications, like the uh, the size of them is just starting to load now. So um, is this ROM stable? Yeah, it's stable for the most part. However, it doesn't seem to play really nice with um, at least this particular kernel that I'm running. And I don't know if that... Um, you know, that lag time was as a result or due to the kernel that we're running, but that was a bit disappointing to see considering I do have it bumped up to 1600 megahertz, which is pretty freaking high on a quad core processor. Now, uh, just going over some of the tweaks here and I'm, you're gonna have to excuse me, so I'm gonna be reading this directly from the thread itself. Um, of course, it comes with call record, which I never use, but a lot of people like uh, find it that it, it is useful from time to time. Uh, flicker free CRT on and off. So um, I've never really had any issues with the flickering with CRT on off animations. Um, however, we do have the animation there. Very cool to see. You don't see that in a lot of stock Samsung custom ROMs out there. Um, so I was really happy to see that they included that. Most of them, you actually see just the CRT off. Um, or just the CRT on, which is really annoying. I don't understand why developers don't just add both. Why would you have one without the other? It doesn't make any bloody sense. Um, moving on down that list, so uh, what else have we got here? Um, the extended power menu, of course. So click long press on the power menu. Uh, if I was to click on restart, of course, you've got some different things there. Uh, like a lot of custom ROMs out there. Uh, what else have we got here as well? We have the modded camera. So um, we'll go ahead and jump in here, jump into the camera. Now, what this, uh, the modded camera here is 30, 30 megabits per second at 192 kilobits. Um, apparently, we have the hard key volume up and down lock autofocus thing. However, you'll notice if I was to go ahead and press, and I have that modification enabled, if I was to press the volume button, which is supposed to either lock my um, focus and unlock it and stuff like that, uh, I'll click on it and it takes a picture instead. Uh, can you say bug? <laughs> Unless I have it set up the wrong way, uh, it's not supposed to be happening. Um, nevertheless, the camera's still working just fine. And uh, so what else we've got here? So we've also got um, an inverted place where I'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice here as soon as it, okay, that was from the last app I just reviewed for you guys. Uh, we'll go back again and presto, look at that, inverted. So we'll go ahead and just kind of, whoops muck around here. By the way, if you guys didn't know, um, Google's obviously have celebrating their 25 million downloads, so they've got a whole bunch of applications for 25 cents. Uh, anyways, that is completely unrelated to the video right now. And see, it's just a little bit slow, as you can see there, like navigating through the Play Store, again, you know, a little bit slow. I have it bumped up to 1600 megahertz on-demand governor, so it should be giving me maximum performance right now, and it's, uh, it's just a little bit slow. Um, anyway, so we'll go ahead and click back here. Get out of there. And you know, click on Apps. And we'll muck around in here, as you can see here, it looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, nice and black themed, black and blue themed. I really like that. I think it looks really, really sharp. Um, we'll go ahead and click on the dialer. Make sure I don't have any. Okay, good. <laughs> and as you can see here, AOSP themed dialer. Um, bloop, 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 bloop. As you can see, you know, you make phone call, text message him, all that good stuff. Uh, so very AOSP looking. It also has a home button, uh, the home button lag fix. So uh, I'll go ahead and jump in applications, click back on home button. And you can see here it works perfectly. Um, I didn't even have to um, disable the um, S voice double tap to launch it uh, in order to get this to be fixed. So uh, I was really happy to see that. Uh, one thing to note, unfortunately, uh, even though some of these applications are AOSP themed and or modded and, you know, like the Play Store has got inverted, um, um, you know, sort of theme to it there, uh, things like, you know, your Gmail, your text messaging, stuff like that, they aren't modded or themed or AOSP'd, so those are just standard looking things, so it kind of like kind of doesn't really give, you know, it's not really consistent throughout the entire ROM, which is a bit strange to see. Uh, nevertheless, really fantastic ROM, guys. I've been having a lot of good luck with it. Um, it's really stable for the most part, at least with the setup that I've selected uh, during the Aroma installer um, process. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll be posting a link in the description below for you guys to go check it out if you decide to download it. Um, it's 750 megabytes, so it's quite a large file size. Um, however, it doesn't really feel like it. I mean, for the most part, it's pretty darn smooth, uh, with the exception of the odd home screen redraw and um, like you saw uh, previously when I was in the applications manager there, it takes a little bit to load those applications. Um, and there are some lag issues considering I'm running at 1.6 gigahertz. But again, that could be just the kernel's fault uh, in compatibility with this particular ROM. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. The video is starting to run on for 15, 16 minutes now. So we'll let you go. Uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. Um, 
from now on, I think considering the new Samsung uh, official Jelly Bean uh, port or port, I'm sorry, ROM is out, um, we're, you're probably going to start seeing a lot more Jelly Bean based ROM reviews from me considering Ice Cream Sandwich is kind of old news for this particular device. There's no sense in me showing you guys any more Ice Cream Sandwich ROMs. Uh, so hopefully all those developers start changing their ROMs around and start converting them to Jelly Bean versions. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, maybe show me some love by hitting that likes button down below. Always, always appreciate it from you guys. It makes me want to continue doing ROM reviews for you all. And um, yeah, you might want to consider subscribing for more videos like this one in the future. And we do have videos five days a week. So we do app reviews, ROM reviews, mods, hacks, device unboxings, device reviews, all that awesome nerdgasm kind of stuff. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.